Yes, we are back. Back again in Train Sim World 3. Back again to do some more routes. Back again. One, two, that's three of them. Uh, on the southeast and high speed. I uh, did some routes on this last time uh, where I realised there was more to do than the time I had to do. To do. So I've come back to do. Again, to do. Uh, where we're going to start here at Raynham. Because that's where we are. Uh, going to Luton. Although not going to Luton. Going to somewhere. I don't know. I haven't looked. What more do you want from me? In it, we're in a train, seven hundred thing, but you know it hasn't got the number on the side, so it's a train. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're confused already, hello, so am I. Uh, this going out on the YouTube's on a day. There's seven of them to choose from. It's going out on one of them. I pretty much guarantee it's not a Sunday, or Tuesday or Thursday. Any one of the other ones that are left, <coughs> Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it could be one of those. Uh, there'll be links in the doobly doo below. Uh, to do to, to to you know to get the things, some things will be linked down there. Just go look at the links. I've put some links in there. Well, I haven't done them yet because obviously I'm this is live. When I actually come to do the thing that you're watching on the YouTube's, by then I would have done the links. But, but as it is now, I haven't done the links. Oh, train. Anyway, we'll unlock doors. Uh, good evening, by the way, to Stokey and Trent. Um, so we're going to, from here, Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester, not the one near York, Strood, Higham, Gravesend, Northfleet, Swanscombe, Greenhithe for Blue Water, Stone Crossing and Dartford. So this train going to Luton, we're going to Dartford. Because if the train's going to Luton, we're not, we're not going to Luton. Who'd want to go to Luton? Nobody. Nobody wants to go to Luton. Uh, right. Let's get back inside the, the thing. I put the thing in the forwards. So we should be, in theory, if I've set this up right, good to go. We're moving. That's half the battle. That's quite horny. Right, off to uh, Gillingham, 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 Gillingham. You know, the place that's up there on the screen. The Gillingham. The place that begins with a J. G. J. G. 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 The, that place. I panicked for a second. I thought that light was red. Well, it is red, but it's not red for me. Well, it's red for me, but not for me. I knew what I meant. Right, out onto the main line. Uh, so yeah, I did this last time and realised there was more to it than just doing the high speed thing. Which we will do again later because, well, we will. But oh, that's a, a picture. Thumbnail. That's the one. Oh, hang on, we can do the speeding up thing now. Go. bit more of the volumes there we go 2.5 miles to go to where's the thumb but there's one here and one there's one there I've got two of them you know onwards ping Yeah, it's not the most rapid thing in the world. Uh, coming up in the next few weeks, by the way, uh, Train Sim World 4. I know. Uh, the week of its uh, release, or the week when I can actually show you it, um, I will uh, bring you content for it. What's my opinion on Dovetail abandoning Train Sim World 3? They haven't abandoned Train Sim World 3. Train Sim World 2020 was out for a year. Then Train Sim World 2 came out for a year. Then Train Sim World 3 came out for a year. Train Sim World 4 will no doubt be out for a year. Uh, and then it'll be Train Sim World 5. So they haven't abandoned it at all. You don't see uh, FIFA people saying, oh no, you've abandoned FIFA 2020. Because FIFA 2021's out. It's a new version of the game. And I'm really looking forward to it. More for the whole uh, Pacer thing and Blackpool, but, you know, that's just me. 
thing. Right, 1.1 of the miles distance things to go. Oh, I'm speeding now. Slowly in. Fair bit of traffic coming the other way. Right, 0.7 of a mile to go until we do the stopping. We'll hopefully do the stopping. Right, 1.4 miles and we got a 50. All right, let's do some more of the slowlying then. Oh god, more of the slowlying. Braking. More of the more of the braking. Oh, it's fine. I don't know why I was panicking. Oh, that sounds quite nice. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now arriving at Gillingham, 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 Gillingham. You know what it's called. The place, this place. Another pride train by the side of us. And we're only a couple of minutes late, mainly because I was sat there for a couple of minutes waiting for the stream to start. Oh, that's not a bad shot. Uh, oh, I'm not doors. Hang on. Oh, don't do that. Don't collide. I want to get a... Don't. Fine. Must be that then. Sort out the unreal collisions. Unreal. Unreal. Sort them. So yeah, we we'll do this one going to wherever it's going, Dartford. Uh, then we'll do another slow one, and then we'll, uh, well actually no, we'll see. We actually might do the high speed one. Uh, hi Daz. Uh, and we're going to be doing firm bus again soon. I no plans to. Uh, we are doing the driving thing in the trains type thing. Right, go. 1.4 miles to Chatham. Yeah, it's actually a really nice route. If you you know you come onto it thinking it's just that high speed bit, which I actually find quite boring, uh, it's not because you've got these extra bits as well, which makes it rather good. Are you chatting up a ham? Oh yeah, because that's what my life's come to, chatting up meat. I am unable to see too far because it's gone dark. Hi, Michael. We were not doing the accelerators too much, Ethan. Hi, Gary. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we will shortly be arriving at Chatham. Chatham is our next stop. Oh, providing we actually stop and not get done for speeding. Braking. Oh, hang on, we got a 30 coming up as well. More of the braking. More of the more of the braking. Slowlying. More more of the slowlying. Sl slowlying is happening. There, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, we might be a little bit speeding. Apart from that, we're fine. There's a train. Hello, train. <laughs> I'll be checking the fields. Did you get hello? Yes. Um, you obviously weren't listening. We'll be checking the fields. See if they're done as we drive past. More farming on Thursday. Watch the stream back if you don't believe me.
exactly. Trent heard it. There you go. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I did say hello to Ethan. Exactly. I God, I imagine the roasting I'd get if I didn't. Oh, it's not you I'm looking for. Oh, okay. It's good to know. Thanks, Trent. Oh, excuse me. We have now arrived in this place, Chatham. To be continuing on to other places. To be confirmed. I can't remember what they are. The last one's Dartford, that's all you need to worry about. Locking doors. I'm glad to be of service. Trent is here for your assistance. Rochester, not the one in New York, is uh, the next station stop. What if the one in New York's named after the one that's here? Happens a lot, you know, Cambridge and Cambridge, Massachusetts, Massachusetts. New York is York, the new version. Um, so I wonder if it is, I wonder if this Rochester came first. Oh God. Someone, is there a bucket around here? Can someone find me a bucket? I don't appear to have one near me. Right, Rochester is next. Is one in the back garden? There might be one in the shed. I'm not going in there. That's scary. Can't Derry bring me a bucket? He's like an hour away. Why the use of a bucket? Actually, I was actually ill on... What night was that? Sunday night? Sunday night. Went to bed and had that sort of watery sort of taste in your mouth that you get. And I was like, kept swallowing. I'm like, well, this isn't good. And yes, was actually ill. I think I might have eaten something that didn't quite agree with me. That's what my cooking does to me. Uh, anyway, we are shortly arriving at Rochester. Not the one in New York. It's fine. I survived. I will survive. It'll be trained soon, World 4 soon. It will, a couple of weeks. <laughs> that the missing Ethan side effect, what being ill. I don't miss him, he's an annoying git. have braked. Braking has occurred. Have I done this line? I don't think I've done this line. I may have done this line. I don't know anymore. I don't think I've been down here. In fact, I'm pretty sure I haven't been down here. Oh, excuse me. So I make way up to Dartford. Uh, then we'll do the, the high speed thing again, but we we'll go the other way towards the, um, the place with the thing. And then we'll do something else. Uh, locking doors. Doors are being locked for your safety. Doors will close up to three hours before departure. Uh, Strood is next. Isn't one of those in Scotland? Why do they keep stealing all these place names from other other places with the places and the place names? Bing bong. We're still playing the announcement now, is it? The train's about to leave. Well, the train's left, technically. That was some words. Words? It's, it's hot. I spent majority of my day in an air-conditioned office with the air conditioning off because people complain it's too cold. Eventually at like 2 o'clock this afternoon someone went, can we please put the air conditioning on? We are 700 yards away from Strood. And we're going down this track over here. Down the hill. No, it was still on when I left. 
There's actually people are coming in going, blimey, it's cold in here. We try going outside. So I now have the fan blowing uh, warm air up my shorts currently. Right, Stroot is where we're now approaching. Someone at work as well uh, offered me fruit today. Came up to me, went out to get some lunch, came up to me and said, Do you want one of these, Steve? And I looked at him, was like, You've offered that's fruit. Yeah? You've offered me a peach. Yeah. I don't do fruit. What do you mean you don't do fruit? I don't do fruit. Well, you don't eat fruit. No. There's like a five minute discussion then on me not eating fruit. The guy thought it was just really weird. How can you not eat fruit? Because I don't eat fruit. Why not? Because I don't buy fruit. Therefore, I don't eat fruit. It's like, this conversation's going on a lot longer than it should be. I don't want one of your peaches. Thank you. That's what it should have been. Was the guy very fruity? I had some vegetables the other week. What do they want from me? Just took one to make him go away. No, because then I'd end up with a peach on my desk. I'm not a fan of peaches, in all fairness. If it had been an apple, I might have actually eaten it. Or banana, I definitely... I, don't, I, don't, I, quite like, I do quite like bananas. Um, but yeah, it's like peach, really. Who goes out to buy their lunch and goes, I know, I'll buy some peaches. About plums. <laughs> no. Uh, log doors. <laughs> Uh, right, Hyam is next, and not Corey, for those of a certain age. He might have been telling me something about my behind. Well, I may have pulled. Right, slowly. Has Ethan tried fruit before? Um, have I seen him eat fruit? He must have. I, I haven't seen him eat fruit. Why are we going so slowly in this tunnel? I want speed. Oh, go. It's looking very tunnely. Used to have a lot when I was a kid. Um, the old man used to like a bit of, you know, some tin peaches and some evaporated milk or fruit cocktail or um, stuff like that. So you have those as a bit of a pudding type thing. Or pear halves. But, you know, it's not something I buy anymore. I quite like mandarins. Mandarins? Man mandarin, yeah. The Satsuma type things. But I couldn't eat a whole... If I bought a little bag of them, I'd be bored of them after about two. What about a fruit salad? Yeah, I don't mind fruit salad. But I'm just, I never buy it. We know I like a man. I do. He likes oranges. So a satsuma is basically just a small orange. Quite juicy though. They are quite nice. Especially the easy peelers. Right, we are 1.3 months. Look, last time the whole stream was talking about food. Why did these streams just end up being food related? Why? 
Why am I being blamed? What about tangerine? The same things, aren't they? Nectarine, tangerine, satsuma, clementine. I said this the other day. What's the difference? I bloody brought it up. I literally did on Sunday night. Um, right, half a mile to go. Anything from the trolley, it is. Right, breaking into Hyam. You like? Oh, see, I do like a bit of cheesecake. Oh God. But yeah, I never do desserty things. Do like raisins? Oh yeah. Never had cheesecake. Oh, so nice. My old man would buy a bag of raisins and just sit there with a bag of raisins <laughs> and munch on them when I was younger. So I'd go downstairs, you want some raisins? Oh yeah, just tip a load of raisins in my hand and off I'd go. Um, oh yeah, chocolate raisins. <gasps> mm. What about date fruit? I wouldn't mind the date, I thought about the fruit. Taken out, wined and dined. I'm going to the cinema. Anyway, jelly baby Russian time. Locked doors. Mm. Right, Gravesend. That's in Kent. No, I said K E N T. I didn't say what you thought I said. I said I haven't got any jelly babies. No, I'm, I'm going to try and make these last till... Well, how many are? I can probably count them. I mean, they're in there now. No, I'm, you know, I reckon it might be alright for a couple of days. Yeah, a few people at my place are coming in looking very casual today. Shorts and t-shirt and stuff. I think, I think my legs may get an airing at work tomorrow. I like prunes, not really. What's those things you used to get at Christmas in like the, the long thin box? Were they dates? With like the white stick thing. Like a white... Yeah. Again, there's one of, one of those things that you only have bought at Christmas. Cheese sticks. No, there's something I watched the other week talking about cheese and pineapple. I do remember uh, doing those on uh, Christmas Eve. Cutting up blocks of cheese and then putting pineapple and stabbing them and then eating half of them. And then putting, uh, doing the little cocktail sausages and putting them on sticks. Who would date a fruit? Well, wow. yeah. All right, whizzing our way along to Gravesend. Yeah, I don't. The only cheese I'll eat is um, cheddar. That's it. So there's no point doing a cheese board. There's just be some cheddar on it. Nine miles an hour. So yeah, once we've got to the end of this one, we'll then do the high speed thing. And then we'll do something after that. So we just went freighty maybe. But it does show you it the southeastern high speed route isn't just about the high speed bit. It's actually quite a nice little run down here. couple of stations close together, a couple of stations further apart. So 
So you've got a 50 mile an hour limit. Approaching, well it's not approaching, we're approaching it. It's not like the speed limit moves. Bing. Right, we should do the slowlying. It is quite nice going on those trains into that there London. I shall be on one next week. Bing. Right, so you've got a yellow light as well. Bit of AWS going on. He's going to London, don't you know? The train's up in the air, so they're planes now. Sure, that's dangerous around by there, it's near Heathrow. Alright, single yellow. All by itself, can't get a date. Needs to go on the. Uh, lights.com right so we have a red which is after the end of the platform which is handy really which means you can stop at the platform hello there I see you doing that flying thing nope you want to be careful about going up high, because my, 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 my mate went up high, and he, he never came down again. We never find him. He's up there somewhere. We're now approaching Gravesend. Breaking. Right. Unlocking the doors. I've got any plans to do flight. I'm not saying I got bored with flight. I quite like the relaxation from flight. Thing is, it was a lot better. I'm not saying I don't like the people that we were flying with, but back in the days when we had quite a lot of us, it meant that the taxiing and taking off and stuff was quite hectic. And then you had a lot of people in the air and then all trying to land and stuff. When there's only been like two or three of us the last few times, it means that the uh, the takeoff then is a bit quieter. Hang on. Well, that was a long one. Uh, yeah, it means that the, the takeoff and departures and stuff's a bit quieter. It also then means there's not as much chat going on when we're in the air, um, which sometimes a, a stream can be a challenge if no one's talking. If I'm doing a single player stream, I'm in the right mindset just to keep talking crap. Um, but when we did a multiplayer stream and no one talks, it throws me off balance. So yeah, flight, mm, I don't know. I'd like to do it, but I, yeah, I don't know. It is a bit take off, put the autopilot on, sit there for an hour and a half, land. There's not really a lot going on. Certainly the last couple we've done that have just been flying in bad weather. 
So, yeah, it will return one day. I'm just in no rush for it, if I'm honest. Uh, I've enjoyed the last couple of trucking streams we've been doing. Um, I'm certainly enjoying this, and there'll be more of this, and Train Sim World 4 to come. Uh, doing something different on a Wednesday, as I have been doing now. Um, that's going to keep it a bit, bit more interesting. Farming may be back on a permanent um, slot on a Thursday. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, speaking of Wednesday, uh, tomorrow night, uh, I'm back with some Truck and Logistics Simulator, uh, which is seems to have had a few big updates. Uh, if you like ETS2 and you've not seen it, worth checking it out tomorrow night. Uh, really, really good game. Uh, it's basically ETS2, but you start with a van. Uh, and you've got to load it yourself with forklifts, and uh, it's really good. Um, that's tomorrow night. Thursday night, some farming. Uh, Friday night, we should be playing with our balls. And also doing some streaming. Uh, Saturday night, some ETS2. Uh, some Italian trucking. Well, starting in Italy anyway. Uh, nothing on Sunday. Because I'm going to Essex. Um, and if I survive that, then I'll be here on Monday uh, with something. So I've got a week off next week. So there may be some additional streams on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, and then Thursday and Friday next week. No, Thursday next week. Right, 1.6 miles to Northfleet. I'm going to be an Essex lad. Indeed, I've got my grey uh, tracky um, sorted out. My Nike Air, my little man bag. Am I leaving Ethan there? You get him all chaved up. Right, 1.2 miles. Language, Ethan. Apologise to ladies and gentlemen for the bad language. We will shortly be arriving in Northfleet, if I remember to break this time. We should be good. Am I going down there? Oh, I'm going down there. What goes down there? Overhead's going down there. Where is the South East and West Fleet? Exactly. Harry Potter World. Isn't that sort of... Isn't that done its time now? Still popular, I suppose. About time there's a new one, isn't there? I tried the uh, Fantastic Beasts series. I think the last one of those is a bit of a flop. We need a Harry Potter prequel. That's what we need. I'm sure they could have made an absolute fortune. Well, you just think of all the... Um, you think of all the Marvel spin-offs that have done extremely well. Think of all the Star Wars spin-offs that have done extremely well. What if there was a spin-off within the Harry Potter world. Same world, based on different people. I think they'd be an absolute hit, because people that love the Harry Potter world would watch them. I'd watch them. Oh, speaking of TV shows, uh, anybody here uh, like me, um, not anybody here like me, I know he's going to respond with a yes to that. Um, mm. Did anybody here used to watch Frasier? And enjoy Frasier. 
Well, it's coming back uh, next month. Uh, Kelsey Grammer, who played Frasier, is still going to be playing Frasier. Uh, one of the people that's in it is Nicholas Linders. Rodney is in Frasier. Um, but as far as I can tell, um, Kelsey Grammer is the only original cast member. Yeah, we mentioned Fantastic Beasts. Uh, I'm intrigued by it. It's out in October. I will be watching it because I loved Frasier. Uh, it's ten episodes, I think, in the first season. But it's it could be interesting. Uh, also, for anybody that likes the John Wick films, um, there's a spin-off of that, a three-part series uh, called The Majestic, uh, based on the hotel uh, in John Wick. That looks like that's going to be really good as well. See, I really need to get this TV and film Discord set up, don't I? The Continental. Did I call it Majestic? Yeah, The Continental, sorry. You've never seen any John Wick stuff. The films are fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Really, really good. Perhaps that's a film I need to get the boy to watch. Have I seen Sisu? No, isn't that a truck manufacturer? No, that's just what I was saying. I need to get the boy to watch. He doesn't really do films. I think it's more of an attention span thing. It's like John Wick, but set in the Second World War. Okay. Could be interesting. Yeah, I really need to do this film and TV and music Discord, don't I? The problem is, it's okay starting it. It's then promoting it. Uh, right, Green Hive for Blue Water is next. I've got a week off next week. Well, Monday is going to be assembling bed frame and gardening. Tuesday is going to be uh, doing nothing. Wednesday, the new forest. Thursday, doing nothing. Friday, Landon. Oh, sounds good, Virgil. I quite like that. What was that TV show that was based on the Nazi hunters? Um, and it was based around a world set in the 70s where Hitler was still alive. Um, it's only just finished. That was brilliant. Hunters, yes. That was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I... Like the ending of that. It's like, no, you can't end a series there. And yeah, probably, Ethan. It could be a morning stream if I'm that bored. Yeah, there's been so many good TV shows. Uh, really loved watching. Um... Oh, what's the one with the kid with the antlers? That one. Probably is, my brain's fried. Uh, it was on one of the streaming services, Michael. Sweet Tooth, that's the one. See, I'm glad you lot have got a memory. Yeah, Sweet Tooth, another series. Brilliant. Wasn't sure about the first couple of episodes of the second series, but it got very good. Uh, Frasier is American, yeah. Um... But it was aired over here. That's light. Breaking. Sat and watched some grand designs last night. I do like a bit of grand designs. I like a bit of architecture. Yeah. Uh, seriously, watch Hunters, Michael. Uh, really, really good. Can definitely recommend that one. Yeah, I have to do something with a second YouTube. Because I can just... Second YouTube, second um, Discord. Because I want to get a film section, a TV shows section, 
a, a music section and have like new things to watch, old things to watch, you know, stuff on streaming, stuff you can watch on like um, not streaming, <laughs> DVD and Blu-ray and stuff. Right, we've arrived at this place. Wherever we are, this this place. Green Hive for Blue Water. Has there any more grace? No, I'm up to date with that. That's good as well. Uh, I try and watch the occasional Vera. I'm about 21 episodes behind on Vera. But it's just getting time to fit it in. Um, yeah, you're, well, Hunters is set in the 70s about people trying to I won't ruin it but a group of people trying to track down Nazis but yeah very good right Stone Crossing is next I have an app on my phone with all the shows I'm uh, I'm watching obviously Heartstopper mm hmm we like that uh, looking forward to silo coming back that was really good what's the app course uh, it's only on well uh, it's only on iPhone uh, called ITV shows I just basically just keeps track of my TV shows so as you watch one you tick it off and it shows you when the next stuff's coming up what you've watched what episode you're on there probably are versions of it on Android. Right, we are 700 yards from Stone Crossing. I honestly don't know some days where I get the time between working all the hours that I work, streaming six days of a week. Trying to keep a certain someone happy watching YouTube and doing the sleeping thing life is a challenge an enjoyable one at the moment ladies and gentlemen we are now arriving at Stone Crossing I've seen a man in the high castle uh, I think I watched the first episode I don't think I was impressed. The thing is, whenever I watch a new show, and I try and watch a lot of new shows, um, I like to watch the very first episode. If I'm hooked within the first five minutes, we're in. If I sort of watch it, but then like pick my iPad up or something, then I'm like, nah. Um, so it's got to be a very good first episode. So you've got to get in with the characters, in with the storyline, and away you go. And I actually realised about the Continental thing and the new series of Frasier last night, because I was just Googling new TV shows. And came up with a list of shows, and those two were on it. So, uh, right, Dartford, one point nine miles, and then we'll do the high speed run thing. Onwards. Um, yeah, what other shows I got that I can recommend? The Mandalorian. Very, very good if you're into your Star Wars. Um, the Last of Us, really enjoyed that. Slow Horses, there's one. If anybody likes UK sort of spy type thriller, sort of um, espionage type shows, um, watch Slow Horses. Uh, it was on Apple TV. Um, third season has just been on. Oh my God, that was really, really good. And hi, Geordie. Uh, the Crown will be back at some point. Looking forward to that one. Stranger Things. Loved Stranger Things. Binge watched that beginning of the year. Right. 1.6. There's a train coming the other way. They do that, trains. They're known to going this way and that way. 
If it went the same way, they'd all end up in Dartford. Or Luton, in this case, and they would end up there. Nobody. I saw that pool cleaning simulator. I've seen some screenshots of it. It looks pretty naff, if I'm honest. It doesn't look great. Next games I'm looking forward to um, are uh, Forza Motorsport. Uh, obviously, Train Sim World 4. Uh, you're going to be a lot of that coming. That's out in, what, three weeks' time? Um, and Cooking Simulator 2. Because that's multiplayer. That's going to be some good fun. There's an update to Construction Sim as well. Um, so I want to try and get some more of that in. Well, that's what I'm going to use Wednesdays for. Um, so Tuesday is going to be Train Sim World, Train Sim World 4 uh, going forward. Wednesday is going to be something that I maybe haven't done in a while. So one-offs. Thursdays for now, we'll put a bit of farming back on. Uh, Friday night, something multiplayer. Saturday night, something multiplayer. And Sunday afternoon, something chilled. So whether that's farming, whether that means a return of flight. Right, we've got a 40. And into Dartford. But yeah, a couple of extra streams next week, so I'm not at work. Um, so certainly something Monday. Uh, maybe Tuesday during the day. And Thursday. Right, we are arriving at Dartford. Well, it's looking a bit bleak. Watch Steve build a bed. Not build a bear, build a bed. And obviously, Saturday night, cooking with Ethan. Ethan? Ethan. So I won't be streaming that. Saturday afternoon trifle. arrived at Dartford. I do like the 465. I'm making a trifle from scratch. One of those birds trifle mix things. Well, he's never had trifles. I have suggested that buy a ready-made trifle first. Well, that's the thing. I'm going to buy one of those ready-made trifles and get to try that. It was one of those individual ones. And then if he likes it, then maybe the following week we'll make the trifle. Because I have him two weeks running or two weekends running right so there we go that was the th gillingham to the place the thing to the thing to the place to the thing uh now we will do the high speed run so if you're not seed the light seed the line if you're not seeing the line uh we'll do the high speed bit now uh choose a route southeast and high speed timetable uh for and we will go 395 and we will do that one ashford to st pancras yeah if we do that then we can do something else afterwards uh dates today all right so we go back into st pancras then from ashford i was gonna seed the line a bit like walking the line but seeding it that's a good film. I've seen that for a few years. Walk the line. Uh, right. Okay. Unlock doors. All right. It's a bit of southeastern high speed now was here at this exact um station a couple of weeks ago uh we came back from ramsgate we changed at um ashford uh so that we could get on the uh, pride train going up in st pancras i could champion it on your new discord I, I will do that uh i've got a real interest in films music and tv shows um and my favorite tv show in the world uh is the west wing mm. Um, and I've always wanted somewhere 
where I can chat to people that also like the West Wing about the West Wing. But there isn't anywhere. So my thought being, well, if you know, if no one else has done something, maybe I should. But also then do obviously rooms for other shows as well. Right. Ebbsfleet International, 32 miles away. In the high speedy thing. I tried to get Ethan to watch the West Wing. Didn't like it. That was almost enough reason to kick him out of the house. You're actually intrigued with some of the stuff you watch. Well, you should be, because you're watching it. <laughs> All right, slight bit of power. So 168 mile an hour. I can't be right. Uh, speed limit coming up. I'm going to promote my ballet. My ballet career is well and truly over. All right, into the tunnel. It's gone dark. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Come on, give me a high speed. You can't call it school anymore. College, Ethan. You're a college bod now. You're not a school bod anymore. It's college. And yes, I was talking to him this morning. Right, go. Right, 30 miles to Ebbsfleet. That's going to go down pretty damn quickly on this route. As the speed increases, bring the game volume down a little tiny bit. Bulb, lights are on, look. Oh, they're the real ones. Hang on. There you go. Odd looking lights. I think Michael, Ethan's trying to do as little as possible at college. College student. Get out of bed, have a pot noodle, go and sit in college, go back home, go back into bed. Alright, slowly building up speed. That's 200. It does take a long time to get up to speed. We're already going slightly uphill as well. Yeah, I can see now why uh, Ethan likes this route because there is more than just going up and down this high speed bit to do as you just proved there by the Dartford uh, thingy 
bro. Two hundred nineteen, two twenty. All right, twenty five miles to Ebb's Fleet. The thing is, when you're on this, it doesn't feel that fast because they're so quiet and smooth inside that you don't notice the speed. Well, yeah, I think Ethan wants to end up working for GWR based in Swindon. <laughs> I think that's his adventure lane. I've been toying with applying for network rail. <laughs> See what they've got. Because they're based here as well. Yeah. Well, still in the procurement type role that I've got now, but different, in, well, similar industry, dip, but different industry. Procurement's procurement. Eight miles are going down, 22 miles to go. You won't see me in orange high vis, no, office based role. Ethan would like to see me in orange high vis, but that's a whole different thing. Uh, So this is the tracks, I think I'm right, um, that's also used by the Eurostar. It's a shame, really, that they weren't modelled in this. Obviously, I haven't got the licensing for them, because you'd be seeing Eurostar trains going up and down here. I wonder if that's something that they'll do eventually. I, I'd love to see... Um, the Eurostar in this. Thing is, they wouldn't be able to do the bit all the way to Paris because that'd take too long. All right, nineteen miles. Well, you would spend most time driving in a tunnel. That's pretty much all they do, isn't it? Well, not the Eurostars, the um, the train, the the the, the vehicle hauly ones. That could be interesting, because it's basically just a figure of eight. You go through, you turn around, you 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 go back, you turn around, you go back, you turn around. That's all they do is go backwards and forwards. Euro tunnel. That's what I meant. The you know the the, the vehicle type ones. I I was right. Not as stupid as you look. I am as stupid as you look, but you look quite stupid. I did a lot of turnarounds, but I think I saw oh, you. That's yeah. BBFSO. Okay, uh, thanks for the follow. Uh, I think that's probably all you can do in this, wouldn't it? Because it's like a 35-minute run. So by the time you go around, turn around and go back. But I think we need it. I also, well, the biggest thing I think we need um, is going to be the, the purple train. 
because that's been the biggest bit of infrastructure that's opened up. And you can see now why I think if you were just doing the high speed section of this going backwards and forwards you would get a bit bored of it because it is just pretty much go flat out for like 30 miles which is where the 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 offshoots we've just done the bit to Dartford make it a bit more interesting so we'll do this run back in St Pancras uh, I think the bit we can do with a 465 isn't that long from memory. Because we've got the 700 this, the 465's on here. I think freight would only be just trundling up and down this same line, or up and down that uh, the Dartford to thingy line. Uh, tomorrow night, by the way, uh, back with some truck and logistics simulator um, if you'd like ETS2 slash ATS and you want the same sort of thing but with a bit, bit of variety definitely worth checking out uh, it's basically where you would start in logistics so you start with a tiny little van um, and you've got a whole loads around for money um, but the cool thing is as well you have to load the van with a forklift and you can then put a trailer behind it drive that um, there's a multiplayer aspect to it that I've never tried and you start off with a tiny little um, little Citroen van you can go up to like a transit van um, you can go up to uh, like a 12 and a half tonner there's uh, an articulate truck there's like a big gravel um, uh, quarry type thing um, there's one that carries uh, shipping containers so it's, it's really really enjoyable um, I've been doing it on and off for the last couple of years since it first when first came out. It's almost what you you do before you end up in ETS2, Alaskan Truck Simulator. I don't know. I think it, I saw the trailer to it. I'm I'm not sure. So yeah, so that's tomorrow. Thursday night we got some farming. Uh, Friday night we should be playing with our balls. Uh, some multiplayer golfing. Saturday night we've got some ETS too, where we're playing music as well. Stong song starting with the letter Q on Saturday night. That's going to be interesting because there ain't that many. Um, nothing on Sunday uh, because I'm not here, uh, but I'll be here on Monday. Yeah, stongs starting with the letter Q. Wait, stongs and starting. I got Mr. confused. Right, we're now only eight of the distances away. We may, we might open up. People start running out of songs. Uh, we may say you can have anything starting with a number. But we'll see what happens on uh, on Saturday night. The problem is there aren't that many of the queues, so everyone ends up choosing the same song. So, so whoever gets them queued up first, ah, queued up. Um, so we have to be careful of duplicates. We can end up with just about ten songs. That's it. Q indeed. Q U E U E. K sera sera. What will be will be. There's one. Right, we're now just six miles away from Ebb's Fleet. Before we then go on to St Pancras. Oh, how high is that in Scrabble? We need to get you in Scrabble again. I have to get Scrabble Junior. Greg. How am I feeling? Hot. Has Ethan played Monopoly? Uh, I don't know. 
that's not really a yeah, it's not really a two-player thing, is it, Monopoly? You need four of you and then a good argument. I think you got sunstroke today. I'm only hot sat here. Have a game of Twister. No, I was going to say Naked Twister, but that's something you only do once in your life. You can't play that with two people. So you need a third person you're prepared to get naked with, and that doesn't happen very often. Right, three and a half miles to Ebb's Fleet. Slowly down. Hello. You're just randomly saying hello? Is it the heat getting to you? Start with the slow leaning. Oh god, more of the slow leaning. Right down to 160. May as well keep on the brakes now. It is a cool route. I'll say, I think you would get bored of the route if you were just doing this high speed bit. It's cool to do. And this isn't the whole thing either. It's gone dark. Slowly in. Let's go back to a 130 now. We're not going to speed up. That was a sentence. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now be we are now be. Nope. Definitely the heat getting to me. Uh, we are now arriving at uh, Ebb's Fleet. Breaking. Or was it here we changed? Is it Ebb's Fleet or was it Ashford? This looks like this looks familiar. Where are we on the train back from Ramsgate? It was here, wasn't it? Yes. Ah, see, it wasn't the other one. It was this one. Because I thought this looks familiar. Because it's actually modelled quite well. Because you went up the escalators to the upstairs bit. Realised the only thing you can do is leave. Despite the fact there was shops and stuff up there. That obviously haven't been used since the train stopped here. For the Euro Tunnel things, now they don't stop here anymore. Uh, actually, this last week's episode of um, no, I'm talking crap. The architecture of the railway bill. I watched an episode last night when I went to bed. That was here, the Channel Tunnel episode. That was interesting. Uh, right, 16 miles to Stratford now. Not the upon Avon, the other one. Right, we do the accelerators towards Stratford. 
I suppose I could go. I've never been to the shopping centre thing at Stratford. Looking for things to do in London next Friday. I could go there. I want to do the Waterloo and City line because that only runs Monday to Friday. I could go to Stratford. giving you an idea. Oh god, that's always dangerous. I've done East Croydon trams. Yes. Now, I will go on a DLR. I'm going into Waterloo. Then I'm going to do the Waterloo and City line to Bank. DLR uh, to somewhere. Right, we've got 14 miles to uh, Stratford International Platform 2. Uh, did that last time. Um, Waterloo and City to Bank, DLR to Beckton, DLR to Canning Town, DLR to Stratford. Oh, so DLR all the way to Stratford. Oh, I'm liking your thinking there. Yeah, we did the whole water taxi thing. Uh, last time we're in London. We pretty much did everything on that day apart from the cableway. We did all the forms of transport in one day. Maybe next year we'll go back and do them all in one day again. DNR goes to Stratford. I, in that case, I shall go to Stratford. I should buy myself a new hat. Uh, I probably won't. I think the DLR would be really cool in this, even though it's um, non-driven. A straw hat for the farm, indeed. A straw, oh yeah, with the ribbon on. You've got a tie yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. It's been three long, three, three long years, three long years. No. I actually want to do that, Michael. That is on my list of buckets to do the Abazine. Ab Ab Abazine? That came in when we were somewhere. Bristol, I think it was. That came through on its way, uh, on its way out. Yeah, I would like to do that. So I still haven't done the train down to Penzance. I was going to do it this year. But didn't want to do it on my own. Uh, Ethan wasn't allowed to go that far. So I didn't bother in the end. I just thought eight or nine hours sat on a train on my own. Right, so we're nine and a half miles from Stratford, and then we got the trek into St Pancras. And then we'll jump in uh, 465 or something. That's the only other passenger one we got here. We got this. We've got 700 we've just done. I think it's only the 465 then. It's the only other passenger trains that are on this. I do like the 465 in this. And this is modelled really, really well. It's a Saturday only service up as Independence Ants. Perfect. Friday off. Fly to Aberdeen. Get on the train. Down to Penzance. Four six five nine. Uh I don't know what it is in this.
fly to Inverness because it's cheaper. But it's not Aberdeen. Tunnelage. It's gone dark. It's getting light. Have you seen the light? Have you found Jesus? Why, have you lost him? When did you last see him? What did he look like? Does he have an S have an airport? Yeah. Inverness is nowhere near Aberdeen. I'm not spending 13 hours on a train with you. Because you weren't allowed to go to Penzance. What are the chances you've been allowed to go to bloody Aberdeen? It's not happening, is it? And you wouldn't be able to go to Penzance. So there you go. Anyway, right, four miles from Stratford. God, what responsibility. Oh, 200, perfect. Uh, I've done the 700. I did the 700 in the first route this evening. I told you not to feed him. He is like a gremlin. Don't get him wet. Don't feed him after midnight. No problem with the not getting him wet part. Oh, more braking. Oh, more slowly. -ing. I did actually. I do feel a sense of uh, responsibility, which actually kind of, it's actually kind of nice. I spent a lot of years looking after my parents, um, and uh, it's actually quite nice me looking after an Ethan. Um, what am I doing after this? Uh, something else. Something else passengery. We've done the 700. We've done this. I think it's going to be the the other one. 465 thing. The, you know, the train. The one. I didn't do 375 last time. Uh, no, we've got to wait in St Pancras. Have I signed the adoption papers yet? Not yet. Uh, no, the first route I did was into Dartford. I don't know how long it took me. 40 minutes? 45 minutes? Breaking. It appears to be moist. There is moistness. How long until the pancreas? Wait and see. So yes, I shall be here a week on Friday. I shall go to Stratford, have a wander around the shops. And then leave quickly. Quickly, there's no time. Well, it's going to be a Friday, isn't it? It's not going to be that busy. It'll be a Friday morning as well.
Well, I've never been to a Stratford one, so that's where I'm going. Are you going? No. So leave me alone. Leave me to my adventure. Leave before the afternoon. Oh, I will. You're not going. <laughs> Run, indeed. Wait until 10, 14 and 30 seconds. Fine, I'll wait another five seconds. No, you haven't got your timetable yet. So there you go. Uh, lock doors. Lock right. That's a noise. Right, five miles into St Pancras then. And then we do something else passengery. That's a word. Look it up. And it's definitely a bit rainy. Moistness is happening from the sky. Oh, I've got a 225. Is it worth it? Time we actually get there, we'll have to slow down, but okay, we'll give it the beans. Beans. Uh, Crispy's the one that throws his toys out of his pram every couple of months. So yeah, I do like this route. Um, I don't know what other one we haven't done for a while as to where, what I can do next week. Obviously, we're leading up to um, Train Team World 4 coming out. Uh, 21st, for those that have pre-ordered it. So... What's that? Two weeks? Thursday? Um... So, yes, hopefully that week I'll be able to bring it to you. Yeah, keep it nice in chat, please. Oh, God, breaking. Hey, at least it didn't say squirrel. And that, that's band worthy. Stop reducing the speed limits. I'll be fine if you didn't keep reducing the speed limits. Is it really this smooth in real life? That's what he said. Um, it is, actually. You certainly don't appreciate the speed. <laughs> Slowly in. Uh, no, he's not. Not by a long shot. Uh, he used to be good. Now he's not. because he doesn't care about his community. He only cares about the money he's earning. And there's got no appreciation for the people that got him there. Uh, yeah. Um, he's the reason I started doing OMSI, basically. And ETS2. There we go. At the height of my OMSI Prime, I was doing an OMSI video a week, a firm bus video a week, a train sim video a week. And then decided that the live stuff's more enjoyable and you get more engagement. So I didn't give a damn about YouTube anymore. Anyway, we are point eight of a mile from St Pancras. Uh, my favourite game at the moment, it's probably between this and Farm Sim. With Farm Sim probably just tipping it over the edge. Um, as far as a game I've got the most hours in, 
uh, it's farm sim I, I love the multiplayer aspect that we do um, in farm sim and it's just so relaxing this is the thing I stream the most uh, because I really enjoy it that's definitely a bit moist Yeah, there will be farm sim on Thursday. I would turn the wipers on, but there's no point. And that means finding the wipers. What's the point of that? Is there a separate... Okay. Well, strange is what? You got a, a knob to the... Okay, that's doing a thing. Platform 11 is the platform we're going to arrive at. That means it's not platform 10 or 13. Or nine and three quarters. Sport? No, 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 no. I'm a gay geek. I don't do sport. Breaking. Oh, God. Why are you still accelerating? Thank you. Now, why we got two wipers? It's like just in case one fails. Uh, I am. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now arriving at St Pancras International. Depart here for other places. <laughs> He's got the fastest harvester. Well, I'm up for a bit of uh, bit of tiddlywinks. That's about as far as I go. I used to like F1, uh, but then realised I couldn't watch every race, <laughs> so gave up on that. Always happy except there's a milk at work, indeed. Uh, I will be uh, getting trained in World 4. I will be streaming it before release as well. Um, I'm fortunate enough to be able to have it before it's released. So as soon as I'm able to show it to you, I will. Right, so doors are open. We have arrived at St Pancras. So we've done the 700 from the place to Dartford. Uh, we've done this from the place to here. Um, and it was a comment I made in the Discord server. My morning wasn't started well the other day because there's no milk at work. Uh, right, respect your elders. That's from... Um, Wear sunscreen. Uh, apparently on Train to Mod 4, it's going to be ITs on East Coast Mainline, those Class 91. Uh, correct. I'm being honest, being honest, I'm, the routes that come, oh, I was clicking on a thing, mm -hmm. like, the routes that come with Train to Mod 4, I could give or take. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the extra route, which is the Blackpool one mm -hmm. uh, that comes with a pacer. Uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. So that's going to be uh, my uh, thing. Dover Priory to London Victoria. That'll do. 34 minutes. Uh, that'll do. Donkey. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing um, Southeastern High Speed this evening. I did Gloss Up last week. Last week? Yeah, I did Gloss Up last week. I haven't done Isle of Wight for a while. Um, I need to look back and see what I haven't done in a long time and to do that next week. Uh, no, we haven't got the pride livery on this one. All right, opens the window. Week before last? Well, it's close enough. 
Alright, unlock doors. And now we've got to do the thing. Right. Oh, we're now in this livery. Now, I thought I did more than Transpennine not so long ago. So, where are we going? We are going from here. Tainham, Sittingbourne, Newington, Raynham, Gillingham again, Chatham, Rochester. We're going to Rochester. You can't ream. Okay, I'll use some paper. Paper is sold in reams. Gillingham with a G as and as in Jill. So it's Gillingham. Gillingham, Gillingham, Gillingham. Well, why do they call it Gillingham then and not Gill? Why is it why is it spelt Gill? As in the, the gill of a fish and pronounced Jill. Hmm? Someone should go and complain. Go, oi, people of Gillingham, learn how to spell your town. We demand you spell it correctly. Gillingham, Gillingham. Exactly, just say both, it's fine. Illingham. This is English and history, nothing makes sense. This is true. Oh, hang on, locked doors, that's me, innit? Ladies and gentlemen, we are sure going to be departing this place. Faversham. See, that's easy to pronounce. Are we a single what's it? Oh, yeah, I can only shove one hand on my thing. Okay. Um, let's move in. Is it just me or does my game look better than what? It's a bit cupboardy. It's a bit like being in bloody cupboard. That's because of the whole single. We just come from a, a train that's got a big thing, window, um, to this. We'll turn the game volume up a little bit. There we go. Oh, hang on. I've got, I ain't got lights on. I ain't put bloody lights on. There we go. Lights are on. Don't start with accents. Why not? Want to start with accents? I bloody can. Leave me alone with accents. I don't know where that's supposed to be. Ladies and gentlemen, what a train to go into Tainham. Tainham's the next bloody stop in it. You've got to get off here and you've got to go to Birmingham. That was Yorkshire, was it? I don't know. I could do Yorkshire. Hey. Some say I should have been on the TV. Others say get off the bloody TV, you'll break it, you fat bastard. Right, we have three miles to go to Tainham. Never heard of it. Made up place. So yeah, this is all southeastern high speed, don't forget. The three routes we've done so far, all on the same uh, route thing. Um, so it actually does, does, why I can't words, it actually does go to show you that it's a lot of variety. Pronounced Tenham. Welcome to Tenham, where Impius's brother had a houseboat. Is that actually on the signs? My brother had a houseboat there, you know. Like it was a it was a boat for a little while until it sank, <laughs> and it was a, a house submarine. One point eight miles to go. I think it's the heat. It's getting to me. I have warm air blowing up my shorts. We will land the same mental hospital after I retire in thirty years. I could just go there now, I think. I've got an Ethan to look after me in my old age. I'm fine. I'd love to retire in three years. I, I could retire now quite happily. 
win the Euro Millions tonight. That'll be me done. See you, McBone. All right, breaking. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now arriving at Tenham. Houseboats are optional. I'm guessing, and I could be wrong here, this could be by the water. Oh, I'm so looking forward to December and meet up in Manchester. Ah, that's going to be a brilliant weekend. Won't be long. September now. Breaking. More breaking. Oh, nice. That's a lot of people. As quantities of people go, that is that's quite a lot. Oh, excuse me. That's a. Why are you getting off here? Where are you all going? They're going to Scarborough Fair. Do 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 do. What have I got coming up? I've got um, South End this Sunday, uh, the New Forest next Wednesday, uh, London next Friday. Well, actually, next Wednesday might also be Thorpe Park. Doing a bit of roller coaster action. Uh, locking doors. Doors are going to be locking. Three point one miles to sitting born, as opposed to standing, not born. So yeah, some extra streams being chucked in next week. Don't normally stream on a Monday, uh, but will be. Uh, could be a couple of streams on Tuesday, maybe a lunchtime stream and an evening stream uh, on Tuesday. Uh, nothing next Wednesday because I won't be here. Uh, could be a couple of streams next Thursday. Uh, nothing next Friday because I won't be here. So a couple of days. This I'll put a schedule up in the thing. You know, in the in the thing. I'll I'll do that in the thing. I'm gonna go to Essex, going to South End, and it's gonna be hot this weekend as well, isn't it? So, Essex Seaside on a hot day. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. I have to take a mankini out for that one. Train home would be nice. Yeah, then I got a drive home. Which I suppose I can put the aircon on. Yeah, I definitely realised how nice this route was. I've always sort of imagined it as being just southeast and high speed. It's not. It's a lot more than that. I love the fact that there's 465 stuff, there's 700 stuff, there's 395, 375, freight. There's a lot to do. A 
they do need to extend it all the way to Ramsgate. That's where we went the other week. Uh, we went down there to go to Thanet Parkway, uh, the new station. Um, but unfortunately, we had tickets booked for strike day. So they were only running trains for St. St. Pancras to Ramsgate. Um, although we went through Thanet Parkway, it didn't stop there. So we literally got off the, the train at Ramsgate, got on a bus, went to Margate, walked to the seafront, went to Greggs, got back on the bus, back to Ramsgate, back to London. And it was like a 30 minute um, bus journey. And I think we weren't in Ramsgate two hours. Or we, you know, it was two hours after arriving, we'd left. Including walking to the seafront and getting Greg's. We did get Greg's in Margate. Don't forget, I was with one of the fustiest people in, on the planet. So it was Greg's or McDonald's. Or a meal deal from somewhere. So it was Greg's. Indeed, blame Ethan. <laughs> what a waste. Well, yeah, we went to Western Supermare the following day. Um, and again, we're going to do fish and chips in Western. No, it was a Tesco meal deal. Right, wait until 10.30. Okay, those people are walking through the stairs. Why well, have you got your coat on? It's like 400 degrees out there. Right, lock doors. Right, three miles to Newington. Can't remember what our final destination was. Uh, Raynham, Gillingham, Chatham, and Rochester. Uh, we're due in Rochester in what twenty minutes? That uh, should be just about perfect for the end of the stream. How goes the trains? The trains go. That's how the trains go, apart from this one's electric. Newington sounds like one of those people. He probably wears a cravat. Drives a Jag. Just call me Newington. Never pays for anything. One of those people. How am I today? I am doing good. Hot, but good. Mildly moist currently. I have sweat in places where I shouldn't have sweat. I wore the engine. too much info well you know it's a mid little temperature thing batteries are gone in it and i've got no triple a's so i couldn't even put my temperature thing back in to see how hot it was in here i should have to uh, get some batteries i'm guessing the purple one's gone off for his bath Be it one with bubbles. Nice guy, bubbles. All right, breaking 1.3 miles to Newington. Uh, 
And next time I do this, I don't know. I don't know what I've done for a while. I keep wanting to see one of the American ones. I'm just not a fan of the American ones. Obviously, we've only got a couple of weeks until Train Sim World 4. Um, and West Cornwall Local recently? I do like that. Yeah, maybe some West Cornwall. Uh, oh, God, single yellow. I've just gone to a green. Yeah, I generally just work my way around all the English routes. I've got every single DLC. Right, we are slowing into Newington. I did um, the Scottish ones recently. I've done Edinburgh to Glasgow and the uh, the Cathcart Circle line. Hmm, Midland Main Line. I should really keep a note on which ones I've done and when. I'll have to look back through the streams, use my whiteboard, and see which ones I've done. Oh, that's breaks. Uh, Transport for Wales isn't in this. Wish it was. Welcome to this place. Yeah, they've ne Transport for Wales has never been in this. Uh, wait until 10, 18 and 0 seconds. Bakerloo line. Well, this is southern, southeastern high speed. Uh, there's a southern, there's the the, 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 the the one. The Brighton one. Actually, yes, Cross City. No, I did say I'd do Cross City again, didn't I? Uh, London Commuter we did last week. I can't remember. I was having some squish then. I was having some squish then. It's flipping warm in here. Uh, Birmingham Cross City. Which is a really good route. Uh, with a class 323s. get naked and put the cam on my camera's not connected because I, I never reconnected it up to the new streaming pc um so it's not connected so i can't even bring up jelly baby cam i want to get the other streaming pc working uh, i tried it the other the other day but i think i had the settings wrong in Streamlabs um because i want to put that streaming pc back downstairs as the second gaming pc so that's one of the things for next week that i probably won't end up doing Anyway, Raynham is next. One point four miles. Yeah, I really like this route. I didn't really, normally I just do one stream per route. I didn't realise there'd be enough content in this to do two in a row. And there is. I think you almost could with, well, I don't know, with Birmingham Cross City. I think this may be the route with the most amount of track. Potentially. certainly a lot of it oh god more braking
Ladies and gentlemen, we are now arriving at Raynham. If you're getting off here, then get off. If you're staying on here, don't get off. Because that'd be stupid, because you've got to stay on. There is a train. As long as UK route DTD have done. Exactly. It's a train. Exactly. Yeah. I was right. They're called trains. You know, they're, they come in different numbers. They come in different colours, different lengths, different um, the motor configuration things. Some of them, and you're not going to believe this, okay? Back in the olden days, these things were powered by coal and steam. I know. How very, very odd. Uh, I'm in a 375. Wait until 10, 22, and 30 seconds. I only read it on the train, I didn't think I could remember what it was. Coal, then diesel. Lock doors, okay? Otherwise people will fall mm. out and you round corners. Coaches are much bloody better in those days. Compartmented carriages and all that. Gillingham, I've been corrected. Gillingham is next. Oh, excuse me. Is Ethan trying to get to mine? You have no idea. He's slowly moving in. Every, every time he goes home, there's more of his things left behind. Fuck call it were horses. Horses used to pull bloody carriages about. Right. Two point seven miles. I need a haircut. I don't got any scissors. Just shave it all off. Razor. Oh yeah, a bit of manscaping. Oh, that's got to be done. Yeah, hot weather and all that. Make sure I'm wearing shorts tomorrow. Yeah, could you never know. <laughs> When's Ethan driving the Mondeo? Uh, one day. I don't know if the seat goes that far forward. Yeah, can definitely recommend this route wholeheartedly. Well, I shake my legs. Don't look at that bad. Well, I've got shorts on now, but I'll have to change them after the stream because I'm mildly moist. Oh, God, that's a lot of speeding. Braking. That's a hell of a lot of speeding. Slowlying. More, more slowlying. Oh, it's warm that here. When I got in the car coming home from work, it was showing 30 degrees. It's probably approaching 40 in this room, I should imagine now. An eight foot square room with no windows open, five screens and two PCs on. It's a bit warm. Oh, 
Yeah, that's good enough. Unlocking doors. The doors are being unlocked. I'd rather drink while we're, while we're unloading the passengers. Got to keep hydrated, people. This station is Gillingham. Change here for other Illinghams. Wait until 10.27 and 30 seconds. In that case. Why are you wearing a big coat like that? It's bloody hot out there. Hello. Well, you're all sitting together, aren't you? Okay. Who, why would you sit in the middle? And you've got a ponytail. Or you're loud, I suppose. Uh, you're wearing a baseball cap. Okay. Just saying. Hello. Oh, you've got a ponytail as well. Do you realise you've got a ponytail? You've got a ponytail. If you see something doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016 where they'll charge you for the text and then ignore it. We'll sort it, see it, say it, sorted. Lock doors. Uh, that's what I tweeted. It was yesterday about carrying a bottle of water with carrying a bottle of water with you. And my informative tweets of the day. Right, Chatham is next. It's probably pronounced Chatham or something. Yeah, when Crispy got on a train from Cardiff going somewhere, and there was. Well, some people on the train that made him really uncomfortable. He, he did send a text to British Transport Police. They charged him £1.50 for the text. Thanks for that. And then didn't respond. Yay. We're now going through a tunnel. Yeah, so I wouldn't text British Transport Police. Depends what you're texting them. What train he was on, what carriage he was in, and what was going on. There was people on a train that were uh, approaching other passengers and intimidating them. And there's no guard on board. Well, not in his bit of the train. We did tell him just move carriages, but, you know. Right, we are now breaking into Chatham. So when this journey ends, so will we. Well, I will. You might just see it and look at the offline screen I don't really care uh, it goes to a national distribution type centre place thing I think it gets pointed at the local place depending on where you are when you text We have now arrived in Chatham. Well, we're slightly overshooting the mark, but we're going to arrive on the platform anyway. 700. Mm. Passengers are being loaded. British education system right there. Uh, hi, Louis. Oh, we do like it. No, I'm not going to say it. Uh, wait until 10.32 in the seconds. Where are we going? Uh, oh, Rochester is our next stop. Next and final stop. 
You don't study English anymore. You're done. You've learned all you need to know. That's it. No, nope, I don't need any more English. I'm done. I've got enough now. I can words. That's all I need to do. Chatham Historic Dockyard. Well, worth a visit. All three. Why would you go three times? I'm looking forward to going back to York next year when the Great Hall opens. Uh, we'll certainly be doing that. Really impressed with York. We did um, a meet up in York last December. Um, and uh, we spent so long in the main hall, we had to rush through the rest of it to give us time to go out around the Christmas market. With hindsight now, we should have spent longer in the railway museum. <laughs> because when we went out to Christmas market, it was so bloody busy. And we spent two hours sat waiting on the platform for the train home. Uh, right, Rochester, next. Well, no, because we're going to do the Christmas market in Manchester. So when we go to Manchester on the 2nd of December, we're doing the um, Manchester Transport Museum. Uh, something. The Christmas market. Uh, then uh, to the hotel and uh, sit, chill, chat get Ed drunk uh, and then going for Sunday lunch on the uh, on the Sunday lunch time because that's when Sunday lunch is served uh, and then go home now, I still don't know what to do I might do my uh, please get you drunk no 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 um, might do my long train sim stream uh this year between christmas and new year didn't do it last year but um but i might do it with a difference because the pacer is coming to train sim world 4 what i'm thinking is we see if we can take the pacer on every uk route in train sim world well four as it will be then And work our way uh, up country. So start at the most southerly point. So London commuter. Work our way up the country in the pacer. Right. We are arriving at Rochester. Yeah. Well, I need to look at the, um, the free roam thing. Well, the last couple of years we've done... Um, what was the first one we did? Paddington to Penzance in a Pacer, which is what, an eight and a half hour stream? Then we did Edinburgh to London in a Pacer. Then we did Penzance to Paddington in a Pacer. And that's all we've done. Top speed of Pacer, 80 ish. 75. Well, officially 75. Yeah, that would be the mid 80s. Yeah, we did get up into the 80s. I am really looking forward to the Pacer in Train Sim World 4. Um, that's going to be pretty awesome. So, yeah, that's that's something we'll plan for over Christmas. Pacer. Pacer tour of the UK. Bloody hell, they got in there quick, didn't they? Just boot me out the chair. Pacer week. Yeah, well, that's not going to be out on the release of Train Sim World 4. It's going to be a couple of months mm. afterwards. Um, so, we've got the three new routes coming out with Train Sim World 4. I still might have my thing up, actually. Hang on. Uh, that one? Nope. Uh, train to Mold 4. That. There we go. Uh, so you get the Antelope Valley, East Coast Main Line, and the other one. I can't quite read. Uh, and if you go for the deluxe version, you get the Flying Scotsman, the Dresden Reser Extended, the Victron, uh, and then the extra compatible routes, one of which is Blackpool. Um so uh yes certainly looking forward to um to that which is going to be awesome out on the 26th someone may get involved no you won't be here between christmas and new year i know the blackboard one isn't one of the four i was getting confused shut up leave me alone 
you come and do that. No, don't say that because you bloody will. Uh, right, anyway, there we go. Um, I will end there. There'll be more Train Sim World uh, 3 uh, back next uh, Tuesday. <laughs> I'm a domestic. Don't even go there, Stokey. Um, someone got stroppy with me on the phone today. You won't talk about that. Uh, yeah, back with Train Sim World 3 uh, next Tuesday. Uh, next stream, though, is back tomorrow night. Uh, if you like ETS 2 um, and you haven't seen Truck and Logistics Simulator, um, check out tomorrow night. Um... I'm going to start off in the smallest vehicle, little van, and you go and take deliveries, um, and you can tow a trailer, you use a forklift to load the deliveries deliveries in, which is really cool, you work your way up to like a transit van, um, then you've got like a seven and a half tonner, then you go up to um, an Arctic, you've got like a quarry loading one, uh, it's really cool, and a lot of things they actually want to bring to it in the future, and there's a multiplayer mode I've never tried, uh, so that's tomorrow. Uh, Thursday night, we're back on the farm with some multiplayer farming. Friday night, we should be playing with our balls uh, in golfing with idiots. Uh, Saturday night, we got some trucking and tunes, playing some music on Saturday night as well. Songs starting the letter Q, uh, and we're starting with trucking in Italy. Oh, it reminds me, Ethan, I need to speak to you about that. Uh, and uh, nothing on Sunday, so I'm going to Essex. But I will be here for a couple of extra streams during the week next week as well. Uh, there we go then. Uh, I will end there. As I said, I'll um, be back tomorrow night with some uh, truck and logistics. But thank you to you lot uh, for keeping me company for the last couple of hours. Uh, and to these people as well. Thanks to BBFSO for following and the moderation team for doing absolutely soddle. That was easy. Uh, there we go. Uh, enjoy your hot uh, Wednesday. Uh, I will be back uh, tomorrow night to play with some vans. Not the trainers or the clothing, the vehicles. Uh, until then, if you have been... Get out of the thunder. Uh, thanks very much for watching.